this is an updated guide on how to install mods with the Marvel Rivals mod manager. This will be everything you need to know to get started, including an in-depth guide on how to set it up. So let's get started. If you're unfamiliar with the actual mod manager, it'll look something like this. You're able to drag and drop files in here, and with the click of a button, you're able to turn them on or off. So we're gonna be heading to Nexus Mods to download this manager. All the links will be provided in the description. From here, we're gonna go into the file tab, and then we're gonna click on this manual download. If you're not a premium member, you may see a slow download instead. That's fine, your download will still be free. Now your new download should be in your downloads folder in your file explorer. But if your mod doesn't look like this when it's downloaded, we are gonna need to download a program called WinRAR. This is also a free program. We're going to click this blue download button and then you should be presented with a new page. Click the blue download button once again. You need to choose the location you want your download to download to and then press save. Once your download is complete, we're going to click on this .exe file. If it doesn't say .exe, that's fine. But if you want to be able to see those file extensions, all you need to do is go up to these three little dots and in the menu, go over to options. From here, you're gonna go to the view tab and in this little scroll area, you wanna make sure you uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Once you do that, you can click the apply button and then press OK. Now you should be able to see that .exe. From here, we're gonna double click on this executable and then we're going to install the program. So you'll go through a whole bunch of settings and you'll know you're done when you see the done button. Now, if the mod manager you downloaded still doesn't look like this, go ahead and right click it, go over to open with, and then you should be able to select WinRAR Archiver. If this option isn't available, go down to choose another app. On this next screen, you'll be able to see a whole bunch of programs, one of which will be the WinRAR Archiver. Once selected, just go down and select Always. Now the mods you download from Nexus Mods will always look like this. So now we need to extract it. You can do this by right clicking, going down to the WinRAR icon, and then selecting Extract Files. You will be prompted by this extraction path and options, and you're basically pointing it to where you want your files to be extracted. This is pointing it to the Downloads folder, which is where we want it to go. All you need to do is press OK. Once you press OK, you'll see your extracted contents. From here, we're going to click inside of the folder and you should see the Marvel Rivals Mod Manager.exe. Go ahead and double click into this. You see a Windows protected your PC. All you need to do is press more info and then press run anyway. Now your Marvel Rivals Mod Manager should be open. And when you first launch it, you should be prompted to find your game folder. If this isn't your first time downloading this, we can go over to the settings icon and then under the game folder options, we're going to go ahead and click change game folder. Now the mod manager may not automatically detect your game folder, but there is a simple way to find it. So for Epic Games, we're going to go ahead and open up the launcher. We're going to go to your game library. And then for Marvel Rivals, we're going to click these three dots. From here, we're going to go down to manage. And then under installation, we're going to go over to this folder icon. Once we press this, this will bring us to our game root directory. All you need to do now is go into this search area by clicking into it. And then we're going to hold control C to copy this path. Now in our mod manager, where we're looking for our game folder, we're again going to click inside of this search bar and then we're going to press Control V. This should be the path that we're looking for. Once you press enter, this will be your game folder. So from here, all you need to do is press select folder. You should see a game folder change successfully. And then for Steam, it's going to be the same process. So if you head over to Steam and under Marvel Rivals, go ahead and right click, go down to manage and then to browse local files. This again will bring us to our game root directory. So the same thing as Epic Games, click into the search bar, copy this URL, and then you're going to paste it in that change game folder. So now the path to where our mods will be installed to is set. If you want even further confirmation that it worked, when we look inside of our game root directory for either Epic Games or Steam, if you go into Marvel Game, go into Marvel, Content, and then the Packs, you should see that the mods folder has been automatically created. This means you've done it correctly so far. Now from here on the settings page of the mod manager, you have a few options you can enable or disable. So if you want your mods to auto enable as you install them, go ahead and keep this checked. And then you have the option of allowing to show the file size, which really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Now from here, we can choose the back button so that we're in the main mod manager page. We'll go ahead and set this to the right. And now we just need to download some mods. So again, head over to Nexus mods and find a few mods you want to download. And once you've downloaded a few, you can do one of two things. What I like to do is just double click the mod. And once you do that, your mod will pop up. Plus this little please purchase WinRAR license. Please listen to me when I say this, it is still free. This will happen 100% of the time. 
All you need to do is press this X. That's all you need to do. From here, we're going to take this pack file, which is indicated by the dot PAK, and we're going to take this and drag it directly inside of our mod manager. Once you've done that, you'll see that our mod successfully installed, and then we have the option to toggle it on and off. Alternatively, if you wanted to, or for some reason dragging and dropping isn't working in the mod manager, you can extract the file first by right clicking, going down to RENRAR and then extract files. Choose your download location and then press OK. And then inside the folder you just extracted, you'll have that same .pack file. You can go ahead and take this and drag and drop it inside of the mod manager. Now, if you do have a mod that you already installed, you'll get this prompt. So it's a nice little reminder to where you can just press cancel. Unless it's an update for the mod, you can just press replace. You can also add a mod by going up to this plus icon. Once you press it, your file explorer will open. So you need to navigate to where your mods are downloaded. From here, you just find that pack file and then press open. This is just in case for some reason you can't drag your files directly into the program. So now all you have to do is install all of the mods that you like and then go ahead and launch the game if you head to the heroes tab once in game you can easily check to see if your mods installed correctly and then start to have some fun if you ever notice your characters are looking a little bit off with these black outlines i'd recommend the disable outlines mod on nexus mods this will help to smooth out the appearance of your newly added skins hopefully this cleared up some confusion and now you're able to mod your game seamlessly if you want even more guides like this don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time